Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mamus Atse, a YouTuber and makeup artist based in Wari Delta State, Nigeria. Today's video is how to do a flawless makeup tutorials. And this is my beautiful client. If you want to see her achieve this beautiful look, then stick to the end. And I was already done with my skin prep. I have various video about skin prep routine. So you can go check it out on my playlist. So this is my client. She contacted me through my Instagram and she's not busy in worry. And this is the first time meeting her in person. Her section was a very fast, brief one. She was going for an event and then boom, here we are. I was already done with the foundation. I'm just doing an highlight. I applied the Zekiel um, Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Nude. And then I'm going to allow that to dry a little because I love to blend concealer when it's a bit sticky. So I'm just applying my blush and she didn't want contour. She didn't want liquid contour. She was very specific about what she wanted. So I'm just using my um, blending brush from the Yanga Beauty in Nigerian Brown to apply my highlight and then of course I'm trying to uplift the upper part of the eyes and then the excesses remaining on the brush I'll just go under the jawline to apply the excesses. I'm doing the same on the other part of the eyes I'll just blend it tap gently and then blend the outer corner of the eyes to uplift that part of the eyes and then the excesses remaining I just go under the chair line to uplift that part of the face so that a joy line will not be looking downward so this is how you use concealer and blush to uplift the face without even using a liquid foundation for contouring blend 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 i love this dual brushes from yanga beauty i use this aspect to just blend and then the other part for eyeshadow blending and then of course when i'm done with my brush i usually go in with my beauty blender to just properly blend all of that in and then i'm setting and for powder i use the milani the milani press powder in the shade warm so i'm just using my beauty blender to also set every areas that i apply the concealer using a milani shade of powder and then i'm using a shade of powder milani in deep to apply on the other areas of her face which is actually a shade okay so i'm just going to apply that all around blend 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 remember blending is key when it comes to makeup and then for a nose contour i'm going in with this morphe powder in the shade leader i'm just going to apply that and then you want to go light handed first to make sure the lines are properly straight before you blend the outer edges both on the left hand side and on the right hand side and then i went in with a brush a blended brush from the no band brush going in with my all-time favorite beauty blender from the Y glam cosmetics i've been using this beauty blender for like this brand for like five years now i keep changing the beauty blender i keep replacing and refining. it's one of the best trust me the beauty blender i used for the foundation is what i use for the concealer and it's also what i'm using for the powder talking of uplifting you see what i just did on the outer corner of the eyes and you can see how it just uplifted our face structure Moving on to my brows, I applied a brow tamer which is the Pramatic and then I'm just using a setting powder to just set the brows because these days I don't understand even after applying a brow tamer, you will still see the brows shiny with oil. I don't understand again so I just have to use the setting powder to matte it first and then I'm going in with this Wood Davis pencil to just create my light stroke you know. I'm just following through a natural airline, which is our brows, okay? So I'm just, you know, trying to define our brows. And then, of course, when I'm done using pencil, I usually go in with my brow gel. Yes, I'm addicted to using a brow gel. And then use the brow gel to just outline the lines. I like my lines to be defined. Even if you don't do this for your brows, there's no problem, please. In makeup, you just need to know that and what you love is not what I love. And what I love is not what you love, eh? Just as that song say, money, 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 money on my mind. Money, money, money. Don't care what they're talking about me in particular, okay? Jacquet of Singapore, all of us know what I mean. 
or brows the way i like my own not the way you like your own but if you like the way i do my own then what i do is to first of all use a pencil to create the shape and then i'll use a brow gel to just define the line because i notice if i use pencil alone when i'm not using concealer to now highlight the brows the pencil could be fade the brow not be sharp but this one as i use pencil first can't use concealer see now now they apply a shadow primer you know say the brow see the way define the show way uh -huh. so for makeup i beg they need a key body you just do it if it you the most important thing i say you do what the client wants what they pay you money to do and uh -huh. after all they talk about before say eyebrows are sisters they are not twins at uh, least now they do my own no you go get you they do your own no problem by the way this part is the most important part of this video this tutorial did you see what i'm doing i put razor blade for the edge of her eyelid the outer corner of her eyes first i can't put the eyeshadow so as the edge goes sharp like say they use concealer take cotton see eh? this these days you know say things there we you know they carry the waste of our concealer say because we want to uplift the eye or we can go buy selling table with it or leave the eye no way just gradually do the one go work for you the one work for me i don't carry the blade put for the outer corner oh yeah put my eyeshadow just the tap on gently gently and uh -huh. if there is one thing you should remember and i say eyeshadow you must place on face tap on face use a fluffy brush because the brush we use for eyeshadow is very important too uh -huh. so me i go first place some place some then I don't place and don't cover everywhere full coverage. Oh, yeah, before I come the blender so that you're not going to see any ash line. We oh, yeah, are now, she goes so tall, you go see the beautiful result we will achieve with this look. See corner of the eye, so I see like waiting they cut with concealer. Oh, yeah, see this other corner, so I see sharp. The face not there down again. This is now how you can perfectly uplift someone's face, okay? And then I went in with a shade of powder. To just apply on the brow bone and then just for that blend that says it is sharp now i don't show you one secret now eh -eh. i don't show you something you know say you know see I'm, you see the water go to your own like that you will like her client will tell you say oh i love the outer corner of my eyes i don't show you now eh -eh. so guys this is my mirac black pencil Man, this pencil na really shako. It says I take the apply am. I put on for the inner corner. See, when you already blend your eyeshadow, well, not the fear. Put your hand for there. Blend down, not the hand for the eyeshadow, not be clean, okay? And I like to just place my hand to drag the eye a little, so that I will be able to apply my eyeliner properly without the clients crying or tearing on me okay see the edge now you know see eyes now i beg you and then of course you know now my hand i said if it's eyelash oh yeah i don't feel the lash is finished uh -huh. hope you never forget this is one of my popular brown beauty by jones this is their eyeliner liquid eyeliner pen liner the tip see the tip now very tiny and sharp hmm. So as they slice the eye line, they go forget you. Ah, see the inner corner. See, eh, let me just tell you. These days, not they carry, they go buy things. So buy it to go work for you. All of us go say the economy now not be here. So before you buy, they think twice. Sha, sha buy it to go give you value for your money. Uh -huh. See the eyes now. My client was looking all shade of gorgeous as a gorgeousness of a look. Mm. As I went back to my finishing powder, Jerry, I used the MAC um, finishing powder, skin finishing powder, the shade dark. Yes, I missed it. Dark on the areas that I highlighted, then dark depends on the cheekbone. And then I'm going in with my cheek lace from the TM Essentials. Man, see this glam, man. I was one, was one glam that I was really happy doing, you know. And I was so, so, so happy when my client gave me one of the best feedback. Then I spray my sweat block from the MS Metics. Yes, I'm just spraying the sweat block to lock all my makeup products. And then I'll be going in with my lip stain. After applying my eyebrows, I still have some brow gel at the back of my hands. I did not just want to clean it away. Mm -mm. It's not the time that they waste makeup. So what I just did was I'm actually applying the Ega Anesta Brow Gel 
that I use on the brows on the lip as a lip liner so I'm just going gently and then I'm going to blend that thoroughly like thoroughly blend it you know you know when you apply brow gel for lip it is dry away way so you need to blend that way and then I'm going in with my lip stain and for lip stain I can't really remember which one I use Sha. I can't really remember, remember but I'm just going in with this matte color to apply on her lip and then I'll blend that thoroughly too as for the blending I'm using a soft brush because I noticed that for all this lip stain if you use hard brush the lip will be cracking it will be breaking eh? and that's another thing I don't understand anyway I think I will show you I will soon do a video of how I actually apply my lip stain that you don't crack I'll drop a video on that I'll drop a tutorial on that soon okay and then I'm going in with my favorite liquid glue from the Anastasia's Beverly Hills I applied a little of the glue at the back of my hand and then I took a little of that with the same beauty blender see why glam eh? hmm. the way I don't use their brand eh? <laughs> it is well with me the beauty blender i just like the way it blends see what i'm saying now a little excess at the back of my hand and then i'll place it there i don't like to apply product directly on the skin i like to just put a little at the back of my hand first so my hand is also my palette for mixing products okay so anytime you see me doing makeup and you are seeing the back of my hands having different colors please 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 try and understand so i'm just blending that in and then i'm going with a powder glue to just further set that please if you are watching this video to now help me do the needful like this video comment down below i beg i beg now i beg not be by force just like this video subscribe to my channel see they say sharing is love oh. please there's love in sharing please help me to share this video so that your friends 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 and frenemies and enemies will see it talking of mascara i decided to place the razor blade under the mascara so that it will not stain under her eyes and then i'm going in with my another obsession which is the so pro Silit spray man this one they lock everything nothing anybody wants to tell me okay so guys we have come to the end of today's video my beautiful client that i'm seeing for the first time she love her look she love everything about this look please guys let me know what kind of look you want to see on the comment section i'll see you in my next video until then stay blessed be happy smile often and bye guys